If I'm Coach Bro, thank you for tuning in to Teach Phys Ed. This activity is called Heads or Tails. So here's what you're going to need. Uh, hula hoops, dice, and we're using poly spots. Um, it'd be really good if you had like big giant coins uh, that you can use instead. But we're using poly spots for our heads or tails. The other thing we did is I made a Google slide with my animated GIFs. Uh, so we associate a number with a different locomotor skill. If you don't want to use that, to, uh, and then we project it, I apologize. We also project it. It doesn't just sit on the computer, we pull this out and we'll project it to the wall. Uh, you can write it on like a whiteboard, uh, but I always love having the extra little visual for the kids and so on. So divide your class into two teams and assign them to a sideline. Uh, we put about six to eight dice on each side. You don't necessarily have to have the hula hoops. I didn't mention that. I like it just so the kids can put the dice somewhere. So uh, assign one team as heads and one team as tails. For the use of this video, my side will be heads. So the students would roll the die on the floor. If it falls out of the hula hoop, they put it back inside the hoop. They look at the number they roll, and then they're going to look at what locomotor skill that would entail. I rolled a two. I would look at what's being projected. If I can't remember, I can't right now. Uh, hop. Ooh. Okay, so I am now going to hop out to a poly spot that is upside down, right? So my team, I said, was head. So upside down, I turn it right side up, and now I do my locomotor skill back, hop and back, and I can either choose to go to the same one, or if somebody's using it, because we had the kid, we told the kids just find an empty one, no one's using it, using it, and I would roll again, and I would perform the locomotor skill to the middle and back. Okay, so that's all that locomotor skill is always changing. If we were uh, if we were the tails team, then when we come out, we would take any dot that can see the number and flip it upside down. You can do the same concept if you want to use cones. Uh, last year we did, but we called it upside down, right side up, or something like that. And so they would turn the cone almost like a bulldozer builder. So knock it down, upside down, or they would put it right side up. And, and so we let them go. Uh, we use this for a warm up. Then we stop, we take a look, and try to see which team had the most turned the correct way, determine our winner, and move along through our lessons. So I'm hoping that your students will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Pro reminding you to keep on moving.